I've long waited for this moment. <laughs> With your death, I will find peace. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find Black Mask. And put an end to this. Hi guys, it's CN Online here for another gaming review. This time we'll look at Warner Brothers' new Batman game, Arkham Origins. Batman Arkham Origins takes place five years prior to the events of Arkham Asylum. At this point, Bruce Wayne has been Batman for two years and isn't the experienced vigilante that's been portrayed in the previous titles. Which seems like a normal Christmas turned to the worst as Batman has 50 mil bounty put on his head for the first person who to kill him. To make matters worse, eight assassins are after the fortune and will do anything they can to collect it. Arkham Origins story was great, but it did have its flaws. It brings iconic characters from the DC Universe who normally might have not had a big role in the series, such as Deathstroke, Bane, Penguin, Black Mask and Copperhead, who for this game has had a major transformation. Whilst these characters were portrayed well and it was great to see Batman's interactions with them, it would have been nice to see characters from the previous games such as Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze, Raja Gull and all the others and see how they form their connections with Batman. One problem with the game was that some enemies were there and next minute they weren't. This was annoying because it seemed that some characters were just simply put in the game just to like be there, it didn't really have any input into the story, and some maybe was even put there just for fans' sake. Another big flaw is that the story didn't seem to know what it wanted to do. One minute you were after one bad guy, and then they just chuck another one in there, and then all of a sudden everything just goes tits up and you've got to try and decide where you want to go. The bonds between the characters are excellent, mainly here we're talking about Gordons. Gordon and Batman have a brilliant relationship that grows as the story progresses, and it has to be one of the best parts of Arkham Origins. Characters are a main part of the Arkham series, and the game wouldn't be made without them. Like I mentioned earlier, that the character choice for the game was a bit mixed, and it would have been nice to see others, but that might just be us complaining. For the game's storyline, the villains were brilliant and also portrayed as fans would want them to be. The voice acting fit well for the most part and really draws you into the game. The main two characters for this game went under the hammer and had their voice actors changed for the game. Batman's new voice actor did a brilliant job of playing the Dark Knight and really kept the whole gruff and threatening feel that Batman puts across. Joker, on the other hand, I don't really know how to put it. After hearing and seeing Mark Hamill play the Joker in the previous two titles, you knew that whoever took on the role for the Clown Prince of Crime would have a huge job at living up to the standards and expectations of fans. The role was played well, and to be honest, if this game had come out first, we'd have loved it. But it just didn't feel like the Joker. Don't get me wrong, he did an awesome job, and there were times that it did feel right. But you can't really beat Mark Hamill's Joker. Gameplay is very similar to the previous games in the series. Batman's gadgets are all back with a few new additions, like the Remote Claw which can be used to create new ledges for Batman to perform takedowns and also to move around the scene to make stealth, the stealth side of things more fluent. They've also brought back the glide feature that was in Arkham City and have tried to expand on it with a diving feature that, is, that if done correctly will make Batman glide and get more momentum and basically be able to glide around the map longer than he has been before. For, the, for this feature though, for us, it was quite hard to use. It was mainly because you didn't seem to get enough height in the map to actually get the momentum you needed. But on the plus side, the dive takedowns will work like a charm. The combat has been touched up on here and there and makes it feel and flow more smoothly. But you still have the problems where Batman seems to fly at enemies on screen. If they are like a long way away from him, he seems to like dive across the screen like here, there. And it just, as much as it's funny, it just doesn't look right when obviously you're trying to like be Batman. You also still have set enemies that have certain advantages and you must use set combos to take them down. But then again, the awesome thing is, you are Batman, so you can basically do as many combos as you want to take them down. The only problem we found was that sometimes the game threw like a lot of enemies at you at once, and you really struggled to take them all down. It was basically because like you'll have a gunner, a stunner, and like an armored, and to try and basically mix all the combos in like at that one time, it just got too hard. I knew you were Batman, but come on, he's only human. Don't worry, the stealth elements are back and are a lot easier to do thanks to the new handy dandy gadget, the Remote Claw. Helps you make your way around rooms that in previous games you could not you could like find pretty hard. It makes you do it a lot easier and you can basically take down all the enemies in the area very efficiently and without hassle. But that's if you want to play that way of course. The graphics in Batman Arkham Origins are outstanding and really push the current gen's consoles to the limit. It's great to see that this game's graphics can truly show what the previous generations were capable of and send them off with a big bang. It will be awesome to see if there is a new Batman game and what it will look like on the PS4 and Xbox One. One downside though that we did notice with the game is that the game lags and has bugs that normally you don't see in games. 
It's not just Batman, don't get us wrong. We've noticed it in a lot of the big current generation games at the moment. Touching up on that, the game will lag during cutscenes which drastically ruin the atmosphere. Certain enemies might decide they want to go for a walk through a wall, or maybe just want to hover around. It's things like that that ruin the game. It, they're minor things, but it just ruins the whole seriousness and in some areas just completely ruins the game. We're not sure if it, this is just us that are having this slight problem, but we should mention it just as a heads up. The game's superb soundtrack help keeps the game going when you might have issues, because it is everything and more than you'd expect from the game's soundtrack. The soundtrack can generally make or break a game, and certain areas of the game help build up an epic and serious atmosphere depending on where you are in the game. There's generally epic music when you're in battle, and very serious and intense music as you meet certain villains, and of course the background music is heroic and makes you feel like the bat himself. To be honest, the Batman game soundtracks have never been disappointing, and in our eyes this is one of the probably better ones and the stronger features of the game. Now onto the multiplayer part of the game. I know what you're probably thinking, why does Batman need a multiplayer? It's all about the story. Yes, I agree with you there, but it's nice to see that they have experimented with the online and have pulled it off pretty well though. Honestly, we love online. It flows like Gears of War and at the same time like Star Wars Battlefront. In the sense that if you do certain things depending on what team you are, you could either play as Joker or Bane. Just a quick overview of how online works, it's split up into three teams. Bane's thugs, Joker's thugs and the heroes which consist of Batman and Wonder Boy himself, Robin. The two thug teams have to capture and hold locations while at the same time eliminating the opposing team's reinforcements. But while all this is happening, the heroes will try and take down the two teams and try to get their intimidation bars up. The way teams win is simple. If you are one of the thugs teams, eliminate the team while killing the heroes, and the heroes just have to get their intimidation bars full. With online as well, you can customise your characters so that you stand out. There are a few different options you can choose from to make the thugs look like how you want them to look, but the best thing when it comes to the customisation is that you can choose what Batman and Robin look like from an array of costumes that have shown up throughout Batman's history. We'll give you a few examples of the ones we thought were pretty cool, such as the 1970s Batman, Batman Beyond, and also the animated series Batman. For Robin, you have the 2000 Tim Drake version, the 1990s version, and the animated series version. There are a few more, but we don't want to tell you all of them for now. On top of character customisation, you can change your loadout so that you can have your preferred arsenal online. There are a few core and unique weapons in the game such as the RC blimp that explodes upon contact and the explosive jack in the box that gives Batman's online a sense of uniqueness. So we're at that point again where we'll basically tell you the overview of the game. Batman Arkham Origins has its pros and cons, like every other game. The game feels like the previous two games in the series, which isn't a bad thing at all. It's a new company taking on a huge series and also trying to find their feet with it. But why change something that doesn't need to be changed? The previous two games were successful, so if there's something there that makes them successful, why not keep it in this one? For example, the combat and environment. The characters are good, but it would have been nice to see others or maybe more. The bugs and lags are an issue and can get really annoying. The story on the other hand, as much as it is good, it has a few loose ends. But overall, the main storyline and the online is amazing. So for this reason, we're going to give it a CNN score of 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching guys. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It would be nice to have a chat with you guys in the comments to get your thoughts on the game. It's been Craig and Nathan signing off. How many lives did you just take? None, I think. That was just a little stalking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs>